Daniel chapter 3, verse 26. Come quite a bit of a lesson from this fiery furnace. And we left off. There are three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, with a fourth man in the fire. And we left off with scholarship and Bibles that don't believe in the Son of God. That Nebuchadnezzar could not know there was a Son of God. And we went to Proverbs chapter 30. Children, they knew there was a Son of God. Are you trying to tell me God's been silent all those years? They didn't know about the Messiah? They wouldn't think Daniel and his fellows would be out there witnessing? I know. Because the scholars don't do that themselves. Christians don't witness. So, we left them walking in the fire. They don't smell like fire or smoke. Their hair is not swinged. They're with God in the fire. Verse 26, Nebuchadnezzar came near the mouth of the, fire, of the burning fiery furnace. Again, to tell you. To tell you. This is no hocus pocus. This was no little flame. I read earlier today somewhere. I actually read it. I made a note about it. Where God, if God says it twice, let me check over here real quick. I read it today. If God, if God says it twice, somewhere, it's in there. And this burning fiery furnace has been mentioned more than twice. It pictures hell. And Spank is said, Shadrach, Meshach, and the gold. Ye servants of the Most High God. Capital G. This is a guy who worshiped all kinds of gods. A god for everything. A god for the dashboard of his camel. The god for his marriage. The god for the trees. A god for the city. A god for his army. A god for everything. And he comes off the most high god. Shadrach, Meshach, and the go became... A source of God to be used. I believe later on, before Nebuchadnezzar falls off the, the, the book of Daniel, I believe he's saved and I believe we're going to see him in heaven. You know, right now, he's a type of the Antichrist. Now, types don't go all the way. Now, don't go all the way the Antichrist is going to get saved. He won't. You can't prove types, but he's also a type of a, and is a product of unsaved man in the time that we are now in the Old Testament and we'll get right but not yet now remember we, we talked about servants earlier servants differ from slaves slaves they they have to do the work they have been paid to do the work so you can no more go about the the African slave in America. Because no more do they have to do the work. In the moment that they don't have to do the work, they are no longer slaves. Think about that one. When you want us to pay you for your family, which is a terrible thing, but you're not slaves no more. And a servant is somebody who voluntarily serves a master. It could be like, uh, you're serving this man and his family. You know what? I, I, I'm I don't want to do it no more. And you walk, tell me, I quit. Goodbye. See you later. And there was a case in the law that if a servant, after so many years, he will, he's done his, his, his fulfillment of time, you can set him free. But if he says, listen, you know what? You're a wonderful master. You're great. You've been, you've been good to me. You've been good to my wife and my children. I want to stay. And then you put an a, a earring in his ear, a hole in his head. 
You know, your earring pierced shows you're a servant in the Bible. But who knows the Bible today? Come forth. Now watch this one. Come forth and come hither. Now those are not the words of the rapture, but that's very close to the word. Come up hither. Now, being a type of hell doesn't mean somebody goes in hell, they can come up and get saved. A type does not go all the way. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth in the midst of the fire. I bet you that was hard for them. You say, what are you talking about? They're in a, fire, fire, they're in a fiery burning furnace. Yeah, but they were with God. You know what I believe? And there's a few that, that have this, this, this purpose of belief. That when, when Paul tells that there was a man in the body or out of the body, I don't know, but he went up in the, in the, in the holiest of holies of heaven and saw things unspeakable and heard things unspeakable. I believe that was Paul. And what I believe is Paul went to heaven. And when Paul went back to the earth, I bet you he went, did it reluctantly. And I bet you, there, listen, when he was stoned, and that's the time that he went to heaven. You know what that guy did when he came back alive? He got up, he went back to the city, they stoned him. Like, I'm going back, I'm, I'm going back to heaven. He says, listen, I'd rather be absent from the body and present with the Lord, but it's needful for me to be here. These three Hebrew men were with God in the fire. And they were walking around. And then the Gentile king says, come on out. <laughs> Lord, we'd rather be here with you. <laughs> Obey the orders. I know Romans 13, Peter hasn't been written yet, but they'll tell you to obey the government. Oh, Jesus. All right, Solomon said, Obey the government. Obey the king. Get going, guys. Oh, it is so sweet to be walking with Jesus. I know, but... You ever think about that? They were unbound. They had all their clothes. They had no smell of fire, no smell of smoke. They had not been burnt. The Bible even said in verse 25, there was no hurt. And they're walking around with God. Jesus Christ. You know what I would have done? I would walk up to the door of that furnace, grab the door and close it. <laughs> get, get out of here. I'm staying with God. I'd rather go st stay with God than be absent from the body. But Shadrach, Meshach, and the girl came forth out of the midst of the fire. You ever see the cartoons? They could, you know, they're throwing the fire. They come out and they, you know, they're getting little puffs of smoke. Hey, that's not what happened here. And the princes, and the governors, and the captains, and the king's counselor, all these people were gathered together at, at the at the the golden image. Being gathered together, saw these men upon whose body the fire had no power. Nor was a hair of their head singed. Nor were their coats changed. They, weren't, they didn't get burned up. Nor the smell of fire passed on them. Listen, you don't have to smoke. To smell like smoke in your clothing. If you got somebody in your household that smoked. You could be smoke free and still go to work and go to church smelling like smoke if your spouse or somebody else smokes. Or go where people smoke and that smoke attaches to you. Not here. That didn't happen here. And their hair wasn't thin. That's a miracle. I read to you today that Westcott did not believe in any Bible miracles. 
And I advise you to go listen to that at Westcar if you got a modern Bible. He didn't believe in Daniel. He didn't believe that Daniel told the dream of Nebuchadnezzar because that's a miracle. He didn't believe the Hebrew boys came out of that furnace because that's a miracle. He doesn't believe that Daniel laid and had the craftmatic lion of juxtable bed. Because he didn't believe in miracles. So as I told you, if you go listen to that, that video that I did today, rip Daniel out of your Bible. Remember, he didn't believe in, in Moses. So Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, throw out the window. He didn't believe in David. You got to rip out the book of Psalms. You got to rip, rip, rip out First and Second Samuel if you don't believe that. He didn't believe in the miracles. You have to get rid of, uh, of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You have to get rid of, of Revelation because not only is Revelation prophecy, but it's also miracles in the future. You have to get rid of, of the Revelation. You have to get rid of Daniel because there's miracles in Daniel. Yes, I know the Jews put Daniel along with the writings because primary Daniel's to the Gentiles, and it shows you that prejudice. What kind of Bible do you have if you take the books out that Westcott doesn't believe in? Remember, we told you he didn't believe in he didn't believe in, in the creation, and he believed in evolution. Well, we already ripped out Genesis. This is a miracle. And this wasn't just for the Jews. This was for the, the whole nation of Babylon was looking at these three men. They were looking at these three men earlier. You're not bowing down for that image when the, when the rock band, the bluegrass music was playing for Jesus. Those three men stood out like a sore throne. Oh, see those men over there? You see that street preacher there? That guy's a sore thumb to us. Because we don't witness. Now these guys are a sore thumb. Like, hey, you hear me? You may, can, can you imagine how many people walked up to that brother and said, yeah, there's fire in there. Look. Well, wait a minute. Nebuchadnezzar said he saw four. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and the Go. Remember, remember I told you last night? Well, who were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Notice how many times different ways I say Abednego. Somebody's probably caught, oh, okay. he doesn't know how to say Abednego. I had a guy in prison one night, walk, get up, and rudely walked out and slammed it. But before he slammed it, you don't know how to say Ecclesiastes. Well, you can start reading Chronicles 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and when you can do that perfectly, uh, I'll repent of not being able to say words correctly, okay? I told you Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were Hebrews. So what he's saying is, blessed be the God of the Hebrews. There's only one God, it ain't God, the God of Muslims, it ain't the God of Ishmael, it ain't the God of Arabians. It's sure not the God of America, the Mormons, the Jehovah Witness, Mary Baker Eddy's. It's sure not the, 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 the God of the, the Asian, New Age and whatever gods they are of India and Buddha and all that. There's only one God that will save your soul and that's the God that came unto his own as a Jewish <coughs> Jesus Christ, a Jewish God. Your pictures are wrong. He's not colored, and he's not white. He's not Japheth. He's Shem. And the very God of the Hebrews, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, Nebuchadnezzar said, that is the most high God. Capital G. Now, he's not completely converted. And what this, is, what this will show us today is... When you could be witnessing to 
to somebody and the light bulb comes on. But they may walk away a 40 watt. And someone may come water the seed and they become a 60 watt. And maybe someone else comes along and witnesses to them and they become an 80 watt. And then one day they get the revelation by God, the Holy Spirit, and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and they're a 100 watt light bulb. It may not happen the first time all the time. Nebuchadnezzar goes through different watts of a light. And I believe at the end of his watts, he becomes a hundred fold light bulb. And I don't know where the Gentiles, I don't know if Gentiles went to Abraham's bosom. I don't know where they went, if they died right. But Nebuchadnezzar will appear at the great white throne judgment. And I had a preacher disagree with me. The books were open. And those books say, Nebuchadnezzar, you are righteous by your works. Well done. Come on on this side. Not everybody in the great white throne judgment is going to hell because guess who's going to be at the great white throne judgment? Moses, David, Solomon, Shem, Adam. They don't come up with the church. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego will be at the great white throne judgment. Their books will be open. Wow, you guys were really great. Come on in. Watch this. Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, who sent his angel. You mean the angel of the Lord? Nebuchadnezzar says, I see a fourth man in the fire. He is like the Son of God. God sent his angel, the angel of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the angel of the Lord, God's angel? It's Jesus Christ before he was born. Nebuchadnezzar is not ready to say, Lord. He will. I believe before Daniel ends out, the book finishes, he will say, Lord, and those who don't profess the Lord as the Lord, and Jesus as the Lord, at the great white throne, the Bible says, every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is the Lord. Now, he's not saying it now because God is not his Lord. You wait till after the tree episode. You wait till he opens his mouth and gives testimony to the world. With the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. Nebuchadnezzar's heart was, was given to God and his mouth said, Hey, look what happened to me. That guy was saved. Whosoever shall believe on the Lord shall be saved. There is... A Gentile salvation. There is a Jewish salvation in the Old Testament. Now it may not be the blood of Jesus Christ. Until after Jesus dies. And delivered his servants. Now remember. Remember. That. Oh where is it? There was a time that Nebuchadnezzar said, <clears throat> he quit, who is the God that is able to deliver thee? Verse number 15. Who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Nebuchadnezzar said, delivered his servants. Did you just see what Nebuchadnezzar, he did a reversal, he did a, oh, the great high God, the Hebrew great high God who sent his angel. Have changed the king's word. I, I, I know I skipped a couple words. But look, the one that's, I said, who is that God can deliver you from my hand? And he says, the great high God, the Hebrew God, deliver his servants. And have changed the king's word. Nebuchadnezzar says, I'm sorry for what I said. Did you see that? you see that repentance? You know how you else say, well, we'll, we'll uh, he deliver his servants that trust in him. Well, that's what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said. 
We're going to trust our Lord. If he delivers us, he delivers us. But if he doesn't deliver us, we're not bowing down to that. You trust him? Here you are talking to me. I don't smell smoke. You know what the scholars are upset that they changed the Bible? They're mad that this wicked Nebuchadnezzar got to see Jesus and they didn't. But don't worry, I'll see Jesus one day. I'll see if I die before the rapture, I'll be absent from the body, present with the Lord. Many of your scholars are going to see Jesus on the judgment of the great white throne. And they'll have to declare that that Jesus is the Lord and then they get cast in the lake of fire. Can change the king's word. Can I have fun with that one, please? Thank you very much. I'm glad you gave me the permission. Well, you know, the Democrats, President Biden, stole the vote. It's supposed to be Donald Trump. Nebuchadnezzar says God changes the king's word. If God can change the king's word, which he did, do you not think that God could change your voting? Well, they found these votes in a garbage can. Gabriel. Yeah. Got a job for you. What? Get about a hundred angels. Go down to that, that, that very wicked country called America. Take a couple of those votes and throw them in the dumpster for me. I wonder. This is actually, you don't have to pay for it. I wonder if at the point, or is it yet future, that two angels, whereby entertain angels unaware, that two angels have come into America or will come into America, and then the fire will fall. And some people don't even know what I just said. We, God has heard the cry of this city and its wickedness, and he's come to figure out, is it really that bad before the axe fall? Those angels went in there, Lord, you won't believe how bad it is. They're marching the streets, they're proud of their sins. This man's willing to give up his two daughters. We struck them blind, they're stupid trying to find the doorknob so they can have fun with us. All right, do what you need to do. You know, America ain't, oh, we're over with COVID and all that. Take off your mask and pride. No thanks to God. I wonder what the next one's going to be. But I know there'll be seven trumpets, seven seals, and seven vials. I'm glad I'm going to be in heaven. Change the king. We have a God that a ruler could say something. And God says, no. Oh, that guy lied. He probably, yeah, I know, because God told him not to do it. Nebuchadnezzar said, who is that God that, that, that can you will deliver you guys from me? And he's like, that mighty, most high, mighty God delivered his servants out that trust in him and have changed the king's word. He's repented. He has... Before all the people said, who is this God who's able to deliver? And he's before all the people because there's the governors, there's the princes, there's the captains, there's the count. He's before these people and the Shadrach, Meshach, and Benjamin. He says, you know what? That God right there, that's the one. And you know what? I said the wrong words. And yielded their body. Does not Paul say something to the fact we are supposed to give our bodies alive? God wants us living for a sacrifice. That violates the law. You know, every sacrifice in the, in the law, when you brought the death, you didn't keep it alive. You had it killed on the altar. The only sacrifice that was kept alive was the escape goat. Barabbas. Barabbas got to go home. Jesus didn't. 
that they might not serve nor worship any God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see that any God? Wait a minute. Look at verse 14. Now, now look at that any God. Highlight that. Whatever you do. When I say verse 14, look at verse 14. Now watch the change. Nebuchadnezzar spank, okay, he's talking, right? And said unto them, Shadrach, Meshach, like he did what we're talking about, right? 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 Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego? Do not ye serve, serve what? My gods. Nebuchadnezzar's gods. Well, come back down where we were. That you might not serve nor worship any gods. Go back to where we were. 14 was it? 14. Nor worship the golden. Wait a minute. Who is the God is able to deliver you from me? You didn't worship my God. So we come down back to verse 28. You changed the king's word. There is a God that can override my word. That is the most holy Hebrew word, God. Yielded her by may not serve nor worship not my god any god small god by a king that worships everything that has a god there's a all-powerful god and his wife god you know catholic church and mary there is a baby messiah gods i mean tamuz is one of them he has a birthday december 25th which the catholic baptist Unknowingly worship, which comes out of Babylon. There's a S star, sex and springtime and and bonnets and lilies and that the Baptist Catholics unknowingly worship. Small G O D. And there's a God that goes around shooting arrows in people's heart that don't die and but they fall in love. They don't need to go to an emergency room with a heart with an arrow sticking out of their heart. And the angel is completely naked. And later on, he gets the name of the Romans called Euros. That's a Babylon. How come Nebuchadnezzar didn't say, my God? Isn't the image still standing there? And he's looking at them three and he said, my God. Any God. He's not my God no more, those gods. I'm not completely converted, but do you see the conversion? I talked to a guy one time. He come up to me. He said, you know, I'm an atheist. I talked to him for a while. I don't, he wasn't an atheist. Or at least the conversation walked away. He became an agnostic. He was, well, I'm not really sure. Nebuchadnezzar is agnostic. I believe, but I truly, really don't believe. Now, now is the time, not with Nebuchadnezzar, your typical Baptist. Okay, Nebuchadnezzar, say this prayer. And come to our altar. And somebody in the church will put a dally mark on a clipboard. And when you don't come back anymore, we won't call you, won't have anything to do to you. And we say, where, where's Nebuchadnezzar? I don't know. Bring them in, bring them in, bring them in from a field of sin. So you got a sinful church, all are welcome. And when they do get saved, like Stanley Hayward, you don't raise them. In. Listen, the man that, that came to me, witnessed to me, and I received the Lord Jesus Christ, Joseph Caswell, never, ever took me by the hand, never, ever took a nursing infant on the Word of God, the milk of the Word of God, never showed me and never grew me at all. And that matter of fact, when I grew and I started seeing the Bible, I started showing people what the Bible says. I started correcting people. I started on fire with the Lord, and the Lord called me to preach. That man turned on me. And that man turns against me all the times when I speak up. Paul said, Timothy, you're my son in the faith. Timothy had a Greek grandfather. It couldn't have been Paul. 
You know, you're supposed to witness. There's, if they get saved, it's up to you to grow them. Your Baptist Catholic Church don't do that. I am a product. Accept their own God. Look at that. Nor worship any God except their own God. Now he has set forth the most high God of the Hebrews. That's the God. You see it? Now Nebuchadnezzar still needs some more help because you know he's got pride. He's an American. He's got plenty of pride. He's not English. English has got the thing, well, you know what? If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> if I can only speak in English, I'd never shut up. Therefore, I make a decree, a law. I thought you made a decree about when the music plays, everybody get down and worship this image. Now he's changing the laws. Every people, nation, and language. You remember our study we had that? That's over in... Okay, where is it? And we, we went to Genesis. We went to the Tower of Babel. Nations, people, here's the governors. Okay, look at verse 4. O oh, people, nations, and languages. The very same people, he says, you better worship my God, the image. Now he's like, you people, you better worship the God of the Hebrews, the most high God. He hasn't said anything about that image. Nebuchadnezzar has done, the, the, done, the, done a complete reversal. Which spanks any which speak any amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, shall be cut in pieces. <laughs> Ooh, that's brutal. Capital punishment if you say anything bad about the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Boy, if we had that today in America, you know how, much, how many people in Washington, D.C. would be chopped up? Of our government? How about taking the name of the Lord in vain? How about Donald Trump? Jesus. Oh, he said Jesus. That's in vain because he didn't mean it. And he's not his savior. He just said it to get you moron. Oh, he said Jesus. He didn't say the Lord Jesus Christ. He didn't say Jesus Christ the savior. I went and checked the, 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 the transcript. He just said it so he, 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 you guys are just the, oh, he said Jesus. <sighs> Even Satan said Jesus. Even the devils tremble. So what? Leave Donald Trump alone. And their houses shall be made a dunghill. We looked at this before. It's either all the sewage is going to go in that house with the straw when they do it dung. Or that neighborhood is going to be the slums. I don't think your neighbors would appreciate it if your house became fertilizer. Because anybody who has a truckload of, of cow manure dumped for their garden, you're not my friend for about a week. Especially if it's the middle of summer and i got to keep the windows open. I'm mad at you. I say that because I've only had it happen Or if all of a sudden, I don't know, you got a, I'd say you got a nice house. You got a nice neighborhood, you know, it, it, it's nice. Next thing you know, you got the slum lord, you got roaches running around, you got cats running around, you got wayward dogs running around, you got people, you got to put bars on your window, you got to get an automatic gun, and you know, just just slime balls and all that, and the cops won't even go in your neighborhood no more. That's the other option. 
You know what that is right there? That's what you call church state. Nebuchadnezzar setting up a God for the state, for the people. I'm against church state. Well, what was Israel before they called their first king Saul? It was a church state. It was a church run by a theo. Uh, I forget what theo. God, uh, I forget what. But it's a. It was run by God Jehovah. And the leaders of the nation, there was no king. There were the priests, and the priests were the judges. I don't like church state. No church. Well, then you don't know your Bible. And Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon just set up a church state. In honor of God the Father. And anybody who says anything amiss of the God Jehovah, of the Hebrews, I'm going to chop you in pieces. I'm going to make your house. You couldn't make a law like that in America. We got rights. We got freedom. There is no other God, because there is no other God that can deliver after this source. Ooh, that's a big, bold statement, Nebuchadnezzar. Because what's the only one that will get you to heaven? Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There's no other God that can deliver. God is the way. That's what he's saying. What about Esther? Nope, can't do it. What about Tammuz? He's he's the artificial Messiah born of a virgin. Nope, can't do it. What about what about Esther who will be Mary one day? Nope, she can't do it. Well, who you say is gonna can do it? The Hebrew God, the one that came unto his own and his own received him not. Whoa, that's a whoa, that's Old Testament. That's Old Testament, and yet he's preaching a Jesus he didn't know, the Son of God, verse 25. Tell the scholars to go back and repent, go to the altar before they go to hell. Hades. Hell. Hades. Hell. Hades sounds so stupid. The Bible says hell. Actually, you know, God is not going to say hell. Or Haiti. According to Paul, the language in heaven is Hebrew, not Greek, not English. I don't know how you say hell in Hebrew. Shiloh, oh wait, I don't know. But right now, in the English language, press one for English, it's hell. We don't speak German. I mean Greek. When you go to college, you must take an English language. You don't take Greek. Okay? Press one for an English Bible. And the only one of the English Bible is the King James Bible. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That was extra. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Do you think do you think that Nebuchadnezzar promoted them? Psalm seventy five. I'll show you something. Never could. Remember the king said that God changes? God has the power, Daniel said. Well, watch this. Psalm 75, verse 6. Promotion cometh neither from the east. Babylon from the east. Of Israel. From the west. Nor from the south. But God, where's north? Where the promotion came from? It came from God in the north. You buy, you jumped over Santa Claus. God is the judge. He put us down one. He's going to put Belshazzar down. And he set up another. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? You do what's right. 
and God will take care. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get every promotion. I'm not saying that. But if you do get a promotion, you better give the honor and glory to God. Because as quick as he gave you that promotion, as quick he can take it away from you. 